sila lamang ang makalalapit sa ating dakilang Diyos. Kaya mga kapatid, ang ating paksa sa gabi ito, Holy of Holies. Ayan. Holy of Holies. Sa Tagalog po'y dakong kabanal-banalan. Purihin ang Panginoon. Glory to God. Kapag sinabi nating Holy of Holies, mga kapatid, sa Hebrew word, Kodesh Ha Kadashim. Ayan. Kodesh Ha Kadashim. Also called Devil. Kapag sinabi natin Holy of Holies, mga kapatid, this is the innermost sanctuary. Ayan. Ito ang pinakabanal na dako. Ayan. Mas maganda, maalaman natin kung ano ang dakong kabanal-banalan sa lumang tipan. Kasi kapag naunawaan natin kung ano ang dakong kabanal-banalan, mas mapapahalagahan natin, mas maroon, magkakaroon tayo ng malalim na kamalayan kung paano tayong kapalad na tayo ay nakakapanalangin sa Lord. Purihin ang Panginoon, Lord the God, when we say Holy of Holies, This is the innermost sanctuary, also known as the most holy place. Kaya kung ito ay the most holy place, tanging ang mga banal lamang ang makakapasok sa dakong kabanal-banalan. At sa dakong kabanal-banalan, nandoon ang ating, nandoon ang presensya ng ating banal na Diyos. Amen? Puri ng Panginoon. Kaya nais ko pong Uh, ipanood sa inyo itong 9 minute video clip Ayan. ito ay mga facts uh, about the Old Testament about the Holy of Holies at pagkatapos po nito tayo yung magkakaroon uh, susundan natin ulit ng pagbubulay ng salita ng Diyos purihin ng Panginoon Lord to God The Day of Atonement or Yom Kippur is the most holy and solemn day of the Jewish calendar. It is the only day when the high priest could enter the Holy of Holies, the most sacred place within the tabernacle and ancient temples. It was the only day when the high priest reconciled Israel with God and symbolically brought them back into the presence of the Lord. No other day and no other ancient ritual comes closer to the full meaning and purpose of the atonement of Jesus Christ. The fall season of festivals begins with Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of the Jewish New Year. Rosh Hashanah marks the start of a 10-day period of repentance and preparation for the Day of Atonement. During these 10 days, Israelites would seek to draw closer to God in preparation for these sacred rituals. On the Day of Atonement, all of Israel would be forgiven for their sins of the previous year, thus allowing them to be cleansed and prepared for the Feast of Tabernacles, or Sukkot, to occur five days later. Feast of Tabernacles was the final and most joyous of the three major Jewish feasts of Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacles. The Day of Atonement followed a complex yet beautiful ritual symbolizing that all of Israel now had been forgiven and was able to re-enter the presence of the Lord through the high priest. The ritual began with the high priest, dressed in his normal colorful golden garments, offering the daily morning ritual of sacrifices and burning of incense on the altar of incense. He then would wash his flesh and change into simple white robes. The act of washing and changing clothes would actually occur five separate times throughout the ritual. The wearing of just the white